Hello, my dear friend. Welcome back. My name is David Cortez, and this is my website www.david-cortez.com. As you can see on my website, you can find a lot of information about software engineering, web development, mathematics, physics, chemistry, and so on. In this video, I want to show you how to solve a little C program that adds n numbers until a threshold is reached. So, as you can see, on my website you can find this PDF that explains how to resolve this program. So, we will do it step by step together using code blocks that is an open source cross platform IDE. So, create a new project, console application, this is the C program, project title, we call it spam with threshold. So we spam with Ok, so we have created uh, this uh, project, some with uh, threshold, we click here on sources and then we click on main.c, so we can zoom the text, so as you can see we have the Hashtag include standard input output uh, dot h, hashtag include standard library dot h. Uh, in, inside, inside the main function, we can delete this line, return 0 is uh, the exit hashtag. And uh, we can write so int i comma n because we have two integer variables i and n and float is the number sum and the threshold semicolon so we have uh, three uh, float uh, variables number sum and threshold so we write on the screen so with the function printf numbers so the user must write the number of numbers that he want to he want to sum so percent d because it is an integer value ampersand n because it is a scalar print f the ampersand is because it gives the address of the variable so print f between parentheses between quotation marks backslash n for a new line threshold is equal to can f between parentheses, between quotation marks, percent f ampersand threshold semicolon. So i is equal to 0 and sum is equal to 0. Then we uh, we do a do while so the difference between uh, a while and do while is that the do while uh, do always does always uh, the first uh, instruction the first block is always uh, executed so we have a do while then we write the while condition so inside the do we write printf 
between parentheses between quotation marks backslash n because we want a new line number percent d because it is the index comma i plus one semicolon at the end can f between parentheses between quotation marks percent f because is a float and first on the number that is the float number that uh, we can write then it calculates the sum that is uh, sum is equal to sum plus number semicolon at the end i plus plus semicolon so inside these parentheses of the while we must write i is less than n ampersand ampersand sum less than threshold so at the end print f between parentheses, between quotation marks, backslash n, sum is equal to percent f, backslash n, comma, sum. So we need to write a program that adds n numbers until a threshold is reached. So we have uh, the input-output library, the standard library, and uh, we have the, fun the function that is the main function. Uh, two variables uh, uh, of type integer, three variables of type float, so on the screen is written numbers equals to and we need to write the number of numbers that we need to sum then on the screen is printed the threshold and we need to write the threshold that is the float then we do a do while so i is equal to zero sum is equal to zero at the beginning in Inside the do while there is the printf function, so uh, that uh, so the, the program asks a number until the uh, index i is less than n and the sum of these numbers is less than the threshold. And uh, at the end, when uh, i is not less than n so when i is the equals to is equal to n or when the sum is equals or greater than the threshold so on the screen is printed the, the sum okay so we can try we click here on build and run so numbers, uh, for example, three numbers, threshold uh, five, uh, one, four, and then the sum is five because uh, we have reached the threshold. So we can uh, try the release, build and run, Pre uh, number th three, threshold uh, ten, well, number one, uh, minus three, Number 2 minus 2.2, .2. number 3, 99, the sum is 93.8. And uh, basically, we have reached the threshold uh, with the last number. So it uh, has stopped because, uh, however, we have. Uh, uh, because uh, on the while loop uh, i in this case in the last case is equal to n and the sum is uh, greater than the threshold so but uh, of course uh, it is an end and we know that uh, with an end uh, um, 
both must uh, be um, must be accepted as conditions. In this case, uh, both are false. So, uh, so it writes on the screen uh, the sum. So we have uh, coded um, this little program. It is a little program, but it is important because uh, you learn coding day by day, exercise after exercise. You can visit my uh, website www.david-cortez.com where you can find a lot of information about software engineering etc. You can find also many games written in JavaScript. Uh, JavaScript, so you can find also a chat. I want to remember that uh, your donation is important. You can help me to update this website and you can join this community. So for now is everything. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.